morning. I'm gonna do a get ready with me start to finish. So I'm guessing this video is gonna be about half an hour. Um, starting with my Colleen Rothschild sheer renewal cream. I already did my eye cream and serum when I was at the sink, but I keep the moisturizer by my makeup mirror. I have the Scandinavia primer spray. There will be a dedicated video on this coming up at some point, or maybe a I don't remember. Probably a blog post too. Hard to open when you have greasy fingers. This stuff is amazing. Like freaking crazy. The only thing is the pump's kind of stiff. That's probably too much. Lately I've been mixing my Guerlain Lingerie de Peau with my YSL Tent Le Tente Touche Cla. <laughs> Get that. This is a little too dark. And this is a little too light. But together they're gorgeous. I'm just mixing that up. Probably should have waited for the primer to set. What is on my face? A hair. Slap that on. I'm using, I think it's a real, I know it's real techniques. I think it's one of their sculpting brush. Yeah, it's the sculpting brush. I find it way too dense for sculpting. It just takes off all your foundation. But it's great for foundation. Now to concealer, I've been using the Clarence Instant Concealer lately. It's a fuzzy, it's driving me crazy. I just, if you have dry skin or patchy skin or just, well, no, that would be it. This stuff is amazing. It may need to be touched up. It might not have the longevity, although lately it has, of like the Estee Lauder Double Wear or some of these other long wear concealers, but um, it blends so seamlessly into the skin. It doesn't cake. It covers really beautifully. Like watch. And because of that, if you do need to touch it up during the day, it's not gonna get cakey on you. You can continue to layer some more on. Two step under eye concealing process. First is Radiant Prep and Prime, Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. Mostly in the corner. Mimi is just off camera. So loud. She's totally snoring. She never snores. Okay, and then my trusty double wear, 01. And I'm gonna be very generous with this. Um, anyway. Okay, that's done. I have also been using, I have been given an embarrassing amount of free product this month. <laughs> uh, this is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. It's a bit messy. It's just the clear stuff. Find the brush. I'm using an old Sephora, oh, put too much on the brush there. <laughs> an old Sephora, um, airbrush the 55 this is very fine and I think I'm I have too much on the brush <coughs> well that's set that's not going anywhere um, I set my makeup I should say I set, even though I have very dry skin I set my makeup with a powder because I feel like when it does lock in the all the stuff going on underneath it, but also gives it a smoother canvas for the next step, bronzer, contour, and all that, because I feel like I know that if I don't set my makeup with a powder first, it gets streaky. I talked about how I use this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette as a contour, and I'm going to show you how. So I use, if it's facing this way, it's this one, which I believe is dim light. It looks like nothing much. I'm just using the Real Techniques setting brush. Could any small brush. Soak it in. You can see the line. And I just, it's really subtle. Although on camera it is appearing not to subtle. But it is. 
And I just follow that cheekbone. I do have high cheekbones already. I just don't know that they're all that well defined under the extra skin. Then I kind of sweep it up across the hairline just so it blends. And I do a little along the jawline, not a whole lot. Now, the reason I do this stage first is so when I go back in with my bronzer with a bigger, fluffier brush, it sort of blends it all in. So I know what brush I want. Where is it? It's from the Coastal Sense. That Coastal Sense collection, I'm telling you, this is a fabulous little collection. There's just a ton of little gems in that. I think it's like $16 and it comes in a little cup and everything. It's a great little, anyway, big fluffy brush. I'm reaching for an oldie but a goodie, my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Light Medium Matte Bronzer. And I'm fluffing right over that. Kind of blends it in. Smells like chocolate. Love it. Alrighty. Now, normally I'd reach for my Kevin Aquan highlighter, but in the interest of demonstrating this palette, I'm not. Alrighty. So, oh, you know what? Shoot. I had a bronzer in there. Totally forgot about that. Oh well. I will use the highlighter that comes in here. I forgot about the bronzer. Sorry. But um, I'm going to use this highlighter, which is called Pink Champagne. That's a good name. As champagnes go, that's the kind I prefer. And I'm going to use my Wayne Goss brush that is used for everything. It's such a great little brush. And just put that... Oh, that is nice. I don't know if you can see that. I think this is great for fair skins. I have to say, it's like an icy pink. I don't know how this would do on medium. I don't think icy pink is good for those golden girls, of which I am not. Okay, and I'll just use the blush that's here. It's this one called Amazed. Real Techniques multi-purpose brush that is not available individually is part of a set. Kind of annoying. So I don't really use, I think, the other brushes in the set, but I will say this is a little more color than I like. I'm not a huge fan of a highly pigmented blush unless it's that red one that they make. So I'm going to go back with this It Cosmetics brush. It was another one I got in a beauty box. If I can find it, I'll link it. And I'm just going to Hold it down a little bit. Okay, on to the eyeballs. I'm priming my eyelids with the Wet n Wild primer that I use religiously. You know what? I was sent the Hourglass. They came out with a new one, um, Platinum Blonde. And I love Hourglass stuff. I use some. I don't like this pencil. I'm gonna do one eyebrow with this and the other one with my Anastasia and you tell me. I don't wanna judge the whole line based on a blonde eyebrow pencil because I feel like blonde is a tricky one to get. And that was Michael texting me. And, uh, oop, sorry, doing this eye only. Anyway, I, I don't have brown hair, so I don't know how their other shades work, but I don't love this one so much so on this. And I think it's too big. It's, I like a really fine, really tiny pencil. So, sorry, Hourglass. I love your ambient lighting powders. Don't love your pencils. See, I feel like I have much more control with this color it in with the NYX brow mascara and then if I see any more chunks, gaps I should say, I can go back in. I like to start with the crease color first and then put all the other colors in. All my brushes are filthy. 
This is the least filthy. It's a faux 217. Um, it's a Sigma one. And I am going to use Party Favored. Sort of a taupey, well, you'll see. It's this color. It's like a warm taupe, I'd say. Do that to the other eye. Then I go back with my favorite brush of all time. It's a Coastal Sense brush. It's a big tapered, I don't know what it is exactly, but it blends like nobody's business. For those of you who are not great with blending, this is perfect. Okay, then we are going in with a Dirty MAC 239. And I'm gonna use Baby It's Gold outside. Very metallic, really pretty. I'll try to look in here. I can't see myself. I hope I don't poke myself in the eye. Oops. That's what it looks like. It's really pretty. I could just leave it like this and be happy, honestly. Um, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to do something in the outer corner here. And that's going to be Gingerbread Mansion. I remember when my kids were really little, my mother-in-law, when she was still alive and we were living in Chicago, would um, do a lot with the kids. And she <laughs> made... She was a kindergarten teacher too, so she was really involved with little ones. And so she had them make gingerbread houses using little small milk cartons as the frame. And you basically just glue gin, uh, graham crackers using frosting to the sides and then they decorate it. But she called them Hanukkah houses. The kids had no idea that it was like a Christmas themed thing. And I remember taking them, we all went as a family, like all of us, my husband and his brother and their kids and my mother-in-law to some huge, um, for those of you who live in the Chicago or Wisconsin area, it's the Grand Geneva Hotel in Lake Geneva. And they have this huge, beautiful Christmas display every year. At least I, I think they still do. And one of the big things is a basically life-size gingerbread house. And I just remember all the, all the grandkids going, look, it's a Hanukkah house. I it was really funny. I'm like, no. <laughs> there is another holiday going on right now, guys. Um, I just thought that was cute. Anyway. All right, so I just smack that on the outer corner and take a pencil brush, run that same color under my eyes. Right quick, as they say in Texas. They say a lot of things in Texas. Um, and then, you know, I love me an inner corner. So I'm going to take another pencil brush and use Fizz the Season. That's gonna be light enough, we'll see. And I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna get in real close. Put that in the inner corner. Eh, it's okay. I'm thinking it's snow time or what a wonderful pearl might be better. Let's try that. If what a wonderful pearl. What a wonder, okay, I'll stop. Right, none of these are particularly amazing. I probably could use that pink champagne. And there is the finished eyeshadow, all done. I'm just grabbing whatever's right in front of me. So today it is the Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes in Black Brown. And just smudge that along the lash line. It'd help if it was Rolled out there a little bit, okay. Curl lashes. I wonder what people will think if they find eyelash curlers, you know, a thousand years from now, some archeologists, and they probably thinking, what did these people, what torture device was that? They'll probably come up with this whole weird culture that tortures individuals' eyeballs. Um, okay, Lancome Grandiose Mascara. Better to do, I've talked about this before, it's always better to do the bottom lashes first. You're less likely to smudge up your eyes. So look down, and then that lifts your lashes away from your skin. 
Okay, then back to the top. Now tilt your head this way so you can look up my nose and it lifts the lashes or pushes them down away from your lids. So you're less likely to get mascara all over your face. Cannot remember who told me this trick. I cannot take credit for it. Probably Lisa Eldridge, I guess. Just assume anything brilliant we've learned from makeup has come from her. All right, let's shake this sucker up and make sure it's the finishing spray, yes. And I know you're supposed to do like a pattern, like a T and an X. I just make sure everything's spritzed. I will put on a lipstick, but I don't have any right in front of me, so I'm just gonna slap on some Clarins pink. Instant lip light something. Instant light natural lip perfector. This is the Tarte Light of the Party Collector's Edition Holiday Palette Daytime Look. I will do something totally out of my comfort zone at another point. Okay, well anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for a daily vlog. Thanks. Bye. Today we are talking about vacations and how to save for them and how to budget for them and some budget saving tips that both of us have.